welcome back to here on life uh, as in the previous farming video as you all saw when i was pruning now just after the dry season now it's just after the dry season so we are about to show you the progress and the trees okay this is young source up see them on the same tree and if you look over here you will see here is not now it's not the right time for them to take plenty load but source up do be during the year so i want to take you along here with me to show you my my farm but first of all let me show you this area well part of the farm sorry that I plant just before the dry season, just before March or somewhere around March. When I planted them, there was about three inches tall, very small. But I usually put sticks around them so they don't get chopped when the bush grow while I'm walking. And this is from some sweet potato which I planted just recently a few days ago and also as you can see here more sorts of more young trees you know and two all this is pigeon peas I had planted that to help shade the plants now they grow up so tall that i might have to take ladder to pick it <laughs> <laughs> and even all three here there we see more young sorrows up if you could look take a look and they grow wonderful now plenty rain is coming so you will see outside a bit dark so the rain is falling, it's very good for the soil, the plants, everything. Yes. And you can see that I'm cutting grass right now and putting them in the stool of the trees. I've been neglecting them for a little while, so they didn't grow much and it's organic as you know. It takes it take a little while in order to grow organic. So what I do here, as I cut this grass here and I throw into the stool of the tree, what happens is that it will compost, make new soil and the plants will feed out of it and they love it. And I will show you the progress they make as we... Yes, and if you look in the back of me here, there is more so up, which I did not cut the grass here as yet. I will get to that in a moment. I have some, I have some young coconut trees up. Are coming up also. I have some in the row going down here. So it's a bread nut, young bread nut growing up nicely. And other areas of the farm which have plenty of sour stuff. All this is sour stuff. Yeah. As you could see, we have one on this tree. And soon all of them will get in grass into the stool. And if you look here, got plenty of grass. I love to leave the grass grow for a while and cut it so I could get it for the thing. If you look all down there, all down this side, you will see plenty all through there. All right, all here, inside over here, there is plenty. Always in the pigeon peas on them, there is source up inside it and they are at good height already. So you're going to continue seeing 
more video on on the farm the source of areas and then you're going to see other crops that i grew so far um the pigeon peas when the beer is also a crop and people love it i love it you could eat it anyhow you don't even bong for meat in your food so long as you have your pigeon peas and many people could side i'm sure a lot of people will side with me on that let me give you a little more peep on most of them here we close up see how small this tree is as you can see and i even pick out from it during the dry season and the source of there is very they are very very sweet and this is pineapple and also yes and this year i know a lot of you will know what it is but in case you don't know this is the cinnamon which is you know we live in a spice island right so we don't want our name spice island come out from us because we are the spice so no enough respect and i'm gonna advise people to always plant spice it does not matter have it around you because it's for your personal use also and the use of the world it's very nice make every give everything nice flavor and i have in between i didn't plant these they just end up growing and i'm taking care of it so anyway i see them i will take care of them and let them grow so as you can see the tree itself for those who never see the tree that is what it looks like yeah, that is what it looks like and the leaves smell oh so spicy <laughs> Thing on him when they reach out to his side. Is it? Huh? Yes, I see it. Oh my god. Okay, let me pull on. I should put the head there. Yeah, you hide it. You see? Huh? Yes, that baby is so bad. Oh, God! 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 We want to remind you that we are here for y'all, teaching y'all about organic farming for those who don't know. And for those who know, maybe you might get ideas out of it also, things you never think about, you may come to you because I learn every day, as on, uh, always on my farm. So we love you, we love the whole world, we love humanity. 
and we want to share our love and we want to show the things that you can do there is people that is not cut out for the farming business but everybody destiny is theirs if you cut out for plumbing electrical engineering anything you cut out for so long as you have the love for it that is your thing so go ahead you don't have to be farming but go ahead at what you're good at and you will make it you know one love stay blessed stay safe stay positive all time remember that so don't forget to like subscribe press the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time we post a new video and as always stay safe stay blessed stay positive one love have an amazing day and we will see you in another video